Hi, I'm Rob Cram, and today we're taking another look at Wanted Dead. As you can see in the message here, the developers have changed the game. Um, so reading through all the patch notes, I kind of get a vibe that they made it a lot easier. And um, my controller no longer works. Um, yeah, they made it a lot easier, a lot more forgiving. I think the game was quite unforgiving initially. Um, so let's just dive in. Um, I don't think there is a way to change or replay levels. Uh, let's have a look here. Memories, I think that's just the cutscenes. So obviously I beat the game before. Um, yeah. Um, I've got I've about 19 hours of playtime on this. Um, obviously I didn't fully complete everything in this game, but I completed the main story and some of the submissions um, so let's just have a look um, so basically their remit is to make this more accessible so let's just start a new save put it on well yeah keep it on normal Japanese hard why Japanese hard I mean that's um, goes back down to the days of Metal Gear I'm just going to skip the cutscenes. There's just so many of them, and they're all. Don't want the tutorial. Skip that. I think I can get a grasp of what happens, but my controller is just not playing nice. Right. Um, yeah, that's a good point. Is there a new game? New game plus? Because these are all sort of stuff that I've unlocked from the first game. Look at all these things here, the stats on that. That's pretty good. So we'll keep that, that's fine. Yep. Okay, we're going in. So obviously, in my review, I kind of thought the game was a bit goofy, a bit dated okay, looking look even. Um, oh shit. So I've got to re-familiarize myself with what's going on. So what they've done is now, you're able to have Bigger windows for your parrying. Um, gunshots now are more powerful. You can knock um, cut off limbs with your bullets. Um, throw grenades, toss them at close proximity to yourself. And so you got to remember this was developed by the same people who made Ninja Gaiden games. Um, They've added some new skills as well to the skill tree system. So I did find the original game quite tough to play. And I'm really taking a lot of damage here. Because you can actually get into cover like that. And be a bit more tactical about things. Um, so use that health. I expect nothing less from this team. So I wonder if they've made any actual graphics in improvements as well. So you can pick up weapons and ammo. Um, I can't remember we how to reload. Shit, um, yeah. So let's see if I can get to the skill tree. I mean, this first mission, absolutely... Um, it's like it takes you about an hour just to do this first mission. Um, it's kind of long-winded for a first mission. Right, there you go. Open the skill tree menu. Right, so these are the skill trees. So a lot of the skills that you had to previously unlock are now actually incorporated into her basic character. Um, there's a few new ones in here now. Um, which I'm not sure. Let me have a look. Severed Limb, Finishing Strike. Um, yeah, there's a few additions here. Um, the main, main one you really need to get is the parry um, strike. That is so vitally important to this game. Um, extra attack after standard combo. Dash attack. Dash attack is really important. Apparently now that can allow you to knock the shield guys out of commission. Um, how many points have I got? I haven't got enough. Points. Um... Right, confirm. Right, so I just need to get more skill points, basically. 
bullet skill first. Where's that? Bullet skill, is that it there? Sliding shot, 500. I've only got 108. There you go. Quick reload. Guard defense increase. Yeah, that's kind of important. Um, oh, he wants me to do that one. Right. Bullet time. Press that together when it's full. Five shots surrounding him and enemy. Right. I'm going to die already. The one thing that was quite bad about the original game was the AI was pretty shit. Your sort of team AI. Um, let me see if I've got enough health. Got one more of those. Enemy troops. Um, in cover. As soon as I get my mojo back and refamiliarizing, it's been over a year since I played this. So one thing that they've added, which is really nice, is the fact that you can now chain your attacks better. If you're noticing here, I'm sort of using a... Oh shit, grenade, run! That's it. Oh fuck, I'm gonna die. So one thing I originally liked about the game as well was the fact that the katana is quite powerful for a weapon. Normally you get these games where you're slicing away at enemies with a sharp sword and they just sort of take it like it's made out of plastic. Um, at least in this game, you're cutting people in half. So, you know, that's, there's a lot going for this game, but it just it didn't get the traction. I think the marketing... Oh, grenade! Grenade! Roll out of the way! And um, it didn't get the visibility that it deserved. Um, I think I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 on my original review. Oh, nice finishing strike. Nicely done. I think that gets your adrenaline higher once you could do that. So, yeah, it's nice to be able to swap up between... Exactly. To get the job done. Um, so... You know, it's kind of like, um, it's great being able to sort of swap between ranged weapon and sort of uh, melee combat. As you notice, I'm sort of favouring melee combat more than a uh, ranged attack, but it's good that you can mix it up um, as you get deeper and deeper into the game. The enemies start becoming a bit more frustrating. Right, I should have enough points. How many points have I got? Right, this allows you now to um, replenish your stuff and customise your weapon. But I don't need to do that. I think this carried on from my uh, my first playthrough. Um, yeah, I think it has. I'm not sure, though. It did say new game. I'm going to sneeze. Bam. Right. So, yeah, I've got three health left now. So, what's next? All right. So now you've got these dudes here, which are melee specialists. So you can just stand there and shoot him in the face. Right. right when he goes like that, finish him. I can't remember how to do it. There's a button that you press to do your finishing move um, when they turn that sort of grey colour. Let's see if we can try not to die here on this first level. Am I going the right way? Yes. You really need to start unlocking those skill moves because they make a huge difference to your repertoire of attacking options. And, um... Off of his, yeah, I've noticed that's a lot easier now to just start slicing off limbs. Before you had to get them into that sort of staggered state, before they do that, Wow, more reinforcements. Try not to get caught up in all those. Wow. That um dude there with the was a super enemy. What am I hacking away at thin air for? Off with his head. 
So basically they made it easier and a lot more visceral because these enemies are now getting sliced and diced quite easily. That was three hits and he's sliced up. It's kind of cool. See it, Stimpak's fall. Right, so I'm going to pick that up in a second. Off with his head. Right. Heal. Heal before Zod. Pick that up. That's it. Right. This way. Yeah, definitely a lot easier. I mean, before, playing recklessly as I am right now, I would have died probably a hundred times already in the original version, but they're just getting sliced up way too easily now. Um, which is good, I suppose. Um, that's what those extra difficulties are for. Um, for those that want an extra challenge. I wonder. But it does get tougher, and as I said, this first mission is a long mission. It ends up... It culminates with that boss battle with that spider bot tank thing, which is annoying. I wonder if that's... Three hits, he's down. Two, three, cut. So I should actually go to my skill tree and start... Um, leveling up. So what I did like about this game originally was the fact that... Um, the enemies were very aggressive tossing those grenades at you. Um, so if you sat behind cover, stationary, they would love to sit there and just throw grenades at you um, to flush you out. Which is kind of cool. I like that. Uh, it reminds me of the old Call of Duty games where um, they just grenade spam you with pinpoint accuracy from a thousand meters away. Oh shit. Yeah, they, they die very easily, these... Um, goons but these are the lowest of the low goons they're um they do get a lot tougher and you can't do what i'm doing now and go charging in like a bull in a china shop you've really got to start being tactical about things set but i mean i love playing with the sword i think it's great uh, as you know i'm not even using the gun i just got to be careful of my health Right, let's try and use my adrenaline skill. Go for it! Boom, boom, boom! Come on! Come on! I should have used it here, shouldn't I, really? There's more people to kill. That's it, dodge roll. Don't worry about these guys. Easily done. Him. So it's good that also as well what I like about this is the fact that the enemy AI doesn't automatically just pinpoint your character. There's lots of games where you've got support AI and the enemy AI just simply wants to just shoot you. It's like they just ignore your teammates and just go for you to make it more difficult. So at least in here that they are acknowledging the fact that there's three other people shooting at them and... Um, they're going for the most credible threat. Which is good. We like that. Right, where are we going now? Yeah, so... Wanted Dead. I think it's been on sale now. You can get it pretty cheap. Um, what's she saying? Come on, open the door. Open the door. Let us in. I think she said about finding another way out. No? Is there another enemy hiding somewhere? It's like the way out to me. What about up here? There's probably a, a lone enemy hiding somewhere. Yep. Oh gosh. A grenade. That's a good giveaway that there's someone hiding somewhere. Um, where? Come on team. There he is. Go get it. Go get it. Bastard. Dead. Oh, there's more than one. That is. Right. The furthest part of the office. This is where we just came in. So they were right at the beginning of the level. Those two. All right, there you go. Jump over the object like that. And go into a roll. So you got to remember, the developers of this game also made Ninja Gaiden games. Um, I'm not sure which one. Um, obviously, that's a Team Ninja game. And um, so they got a lot of credibility in Do terms of making a combat game. Um, where am I supposed to go here? Uh, there's that door that we was at before. Um, where is it? This way. 
furthest part of the office. Is it in here? Maybe, maybe not. No, that's where we I keep going back to the beginning. Right. Yeah, so that this this sort of thing gets kind of confusing because I mean, you're in a weird sort of I don't know where we're at, what kind of building this is, but there's no sort of defining features. Um, it all kind of looks the same. So it's like, where am I going? Which which direction am I supposed to go? Why can't I go this way? Um, so look, I'm lost here. I can't see any discernible way through here. Oh, uh, maybe through there. No, nope. can't climb on anything. Um, okay. To find another way so my teammate over there is where we want to go isn't it where that door is there i think i have to come around here instead of going nope gosh brain fart um there's got to be way up here i'll just come from there this way here we go right sorry about that oh they were waiting for me um agent stone would you fucking hurry up sorry i was admiring the scenery right skip that Right, replenish my health. Um, in terms of levels as well, I must say that this opening level isn't the best showcase for this game. There's some really cool levels later on. Um, right, now I've got this. Before the guard breaks. Yeah, that's nice, but I want the parry. Um, where's that? Is that extra attack? Where's the parry? Sliding attack. Charge attack. Dash attack. We do need the dash attack. Sliding shot is pretty good. That's a new one. Improve armor is good. Um, quick reload. Guard strength. Yeah, you really need to sort of get all these up here. So let's just do that one. Obviously, you can tailor your character to how you see fit. Right, after a parry to perform a follow-up attack. That's really important. So what they've done is they've increased the window of opportunity. Right, sliding attack. We do need that one. Uh, what's this one? Dash attack. We do need that one as well. Uh, you notice I didn't really spend any points until this point. Um, it wasn't necessary. Um, da -da -da, reinforced armor. I don't think I've got enough now to afford anything else. I don't really bother with this skill tree here. But there's some quite interesting stuff. So I should really just make sure my character's well-rounded. Um, right. So, parrying. You've got to block at the right time to parry the attack. And then it automatically put them in a day state. Which then allows you to do your follow-up attack. And this is the core crux of this gameplay. Loop for this game. Parry strike. There you go. That's just running attack. But be careful of the camera. So look, these guys here are shooting. So there's no... Oh, grenade! Get away! As I said, once you start getting into... Um, beyond this sort of... Oh, gosh, you bastard! I was about to say, these guys... These are the guys that you've got to learn how to parry now. And once you get it right, it is very satisfying to be able to... Now, a red attack, it means you can't block it. Oh, I'm dead! Oh, gosh! But luckily, you're allowed to get downed once per mission, I think. And um, your teammate will revive you, but only once. Right, he's... That's it. Wow, that window of opportunity was huge! I had, I had my finger held down on the guard button, and he parried straight away. That is way easier. Gosh almighty! Wow, it took a lot of skill before to sort of parry successfully, but um, obviously they've taken a leaf out of the Bayonetta book of making it extreme. That window is just huge. Gosh, wow. But the question I've got to ask, is it too little too late? It's well and good updating a game year after you released it. The damage has already been done. The reviews have already been done. IGN and everyone's already given it like 5 out of 10 based on the original game you released. The There's no point going back now and saying, well, actually, well, it worked for Cyberpunk 2077, didn't it? Two years later, they made the game how it's supposed to be at launch. 
Um, this is the sad state of executives in the gaming industry now. Rant time. Is that you've got all these executives that aren't in touch with the software developers and um, developers are saying we need more time with this. Um, it's not ready to release. But the uh, the um, peak powers that be are like, well, no, we need to release it now. Our shareholders are in patient. We need to get our money. So they release a game in this horrible state and um, gets panned by the reviews and then it's like, well, nobody buys the game. And it's like, well, fucking hell. Um, the game gets slated. But a game as big as Cyberpunk 2077 is allowed to get away with shit like that because it was touted as one of the biggest and best games of all time before it was released. Um, then it just got panned to hell. And, um, but it's such a high profile product. And CD Projekt Red made good on their pledge to fix it up two years later. I can't remember what I was supposed to do when he's in that sort of state. There's a finishing move that you can do. Maybe I should start using my gun a bit more. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Shoot the gun, because that interrupts their flow as well. It's all coming back to me now. So yeah, a game like this with, with kind of little fanfare. Um, can you grant it that same sort of... Why are you doing a finishing move? Do it! Gosh. You've heard of bullet sponge enemies, that one? Yeah, I like that. But you need to do the sliding dash. Let's try and practice that now. No, it's a jump kick. Sliding dash. So you can do a dash and then a strike from there. Yeah, you can see the Ninja Gaiden influence clearly in this. I'm fine. Um, I haven't done... Oh, I, have, I was down, but I haven't been killed. Right. Proceed forward. Try health up? Yes. So they do drop the odd stim pack. But I think the hard mode, they don't drop hardly any stim packs at all. Am I even going the right way? Because I remember getting attacked in this bit. I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, like I said, it's... Oh no, we're going... No, I've just come from here, haven't I? Yes, I have. Oh gosh. Return to sender. Um, yeah. So, um, I don't know, what, what can they do? I mean, who's going to know about the update? Who's going to verify that the game is now, oh, the game is much better now. Um, please buy the game, it's much better. Who, who are you going to get to um, tell people that this game is now improved? Has it improved? It's different, but has it improved? That's, that's the kind of... Um, I think a lot of people didn't like the actual main character, unfortunately. Sorry, um, Mrs. Zimmerman, whatever her name is. Um, they thought she was kind of a bit goofy looking. Um, but um, she's like, the likeness is actually quite good of, of the actress that plays her. Um, and um, she's done a lot of work in the uh, like 509. She's done a lot of work in promoting this game Let's when it came out, but um, unfortunately... Okay, shield guys, we do not like those. So apparently now I can do this. No, not that. I can do a sliding strike and it will knock the shield out. No, I probably have to unlock it. Shoot his legs. Always go for the legs. So the gun does come in useful. Oh look, he's flashing. So what? I haven't worked out what I'm supposed to do there. Um, so you can chain your attacks together um, when they're in that glowing state and do the finishing move. But whoops, sorry. I'm trying to kill my own team. Right, we're getting close here. Really close. Right. The point of no return. Just keep moving around. With Ninja Gaiden, you've got to keep moving. I can't sit there just hammering away at the buttons. Oh, that parry is just so easy to do now. Right, look, he's flashing. Reload. Got 
I think when they're in that state, they're a lot easier to um, actually just dismember. Yep, chopped off his leg. Grenade! Wow. Okay, we're good. So she gets covered in quite a lot of blood in it, as you'd expect, because it's obviously quite visceral with that blade. So what's a really neat feature, and I think they've got it in Lies of P as well, is when you stand under that water, um, yeah, it actually washes the blood off, which is kind of a little neat little touch. Go on, parry him. Wow, that parry window is so huge. Um, there's certain enemies in the next level that I can remember. Um, that parry is going to be so useful, that window, to be that big. No, you can't parry when it's red. Ah, oh, I've been down. That's the second time. But luckily, I've not been... Oh, is he down? What's the matter? Yep. I need to unlock more moves. The game does get a lot more fun once you've unlocked more of the uh, skills. Definitely. What's going on here? Off with his head. Right. We're almost there. Now we've got to go for the library first. Um, I see that arm just sitting on the floor there, flapping about in the wind. Skip. Gosh. This is what I mean. This is such a long level. Um, I mean, I can actually throw grenades myself um, if I can work out what the button is to do it. Whoops. Yep. Okay, yeah, those little screams are a bit... Oh. Yeah, we don't like the shield guys. Shield guys are not nice. Um, back up, back up. Like shoe legs. Look at he's toast. Nice. Kung Fu kick. I've got to get that uh, nicely done. The sliding strike. That was it. Nicely done. Sliced and diced. All right, we're here. Nicely done. Okay, I still think we're a long way off. Because um, you've got to get outside. And then you've got the chainsaw. Gosh, it's just... It's never ending. Yeah, now we've got outside. Right. Right, now the enemies start getting a bit funky. You get these ninja type enemies. Now that's where you need to parry. So they can be quite deadly. Right, so where am I going? I'm not sure you can jump over this, can you? No. 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 Get away! Right, oh, you gotta drop down here. Okay, let's do it. That like ninja man. You might actually see me die here because they the, the step up from these basic enemies from Oh nice parry strike. That's it. Finish him. Well, grenade, that's it. Come and get me. Oh, 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 low health. Gosh almighty, come on, die, will you? Right, health. Look at this, he's only got one arm. He still wants to fight. Run off to your home. You're finished. Yes, yeah, so it's got its own auto lock on. And what's annoying about this level as well is that there's um, people shooting at you from up there. If you don't, not immediately obvious. You're wondering, why is my health chipping away? Alright, get away. Oh, that was nice and easy. He drops a stim. Slice his legs off. Too bad, bad. Right, come on, come on, do it, do it. He's blocking. So look, they've learned how to block now. Um, oh, nice moves.
I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. Health up. That's it, finish him. So it is a fun game, but wow. It just takes a lot of time to get to where you want to go. Um, pick that up. Oh. Right, so we're going to encounter the ninja character in a minute. And um, it's... Uh, he's probably going to kill me, like, straight away. Because there's a huge step up in difficulty now. Um, these goons are just standard cannon fodder. But, um, oh, unblockable. Again, two unblockable attacks. See, look at that, almost down me. Got to really use your... Shit. Oh, block that one, nice. Yeah, I'm, I only got one stim left. Not good. No! Fuck! Oh, he's came most of my health. Wow. Think of how to quickly dispatch them. There's a way to kill them when they're in that state. Like quickly. Oh gosh! But I got my health back, and I've got free. Uh... Oh, that's different. That never happened before. It suddenly refilled the stims at this point. Is there some of them um, look at all this stuff here. Oh, wow, well, loads of stims just happen to be left lying around. Right, ninja. He's the kind of first sub-boss. Right? So you can actually just shoot him in the face. I need to go full auto, really, here. But you want to parry him. That's the way. Let's see how that's going to work out. Right, go on then. That's it. Finish him. Yeah, he's bleeding bad. He took half his health away already. Come on. Oh, he's blocking. Come on, bitch. Um, oh, parried him twice. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's trying to hold on to that last liver of health. We'll dodge this. Wow, I've not got full. So they left loads of stims there. Before there was actually no stims. Um, and that was quite a tough battle. I'd die every time. Well, not every time. Most times against him. So that was just a little taster of a ninja. When you're up against three or four of them all at once, that's when things start heating up. And we're still not at the end of this level. It just keeps going, it keeps giving. Oh, come on. How many points have I got now? I must have quite a few. But, um, yeah, I need to start leveling up. I mean, there's good destructibility in these levels as well. That's kind of cool. Get on, get on, go on, piss off. And, um, yeah. Nice. I love that little flying kick. It's great. Grenade! Um, yeah, so look, another little office that just looks the same as the one we just came from before. Um, it's just... Ugh. It's not the best opening level. I mean, it's just long and just... Generic, I think is the word I could call it. It's too generic to be interesting. Yeah. But it's allowing you to get your practice in learning the sort of nuances of this game and how you're supposed to play it. Look at that parry, I just blocked him forever. Uh, unblockable, smart. Yeah, I don't even use my pistol, I should really. That's how you block them and stop them from attacking you. Come on! Right. Right. I'm fine, thank you. Don't worry about me. Worry about yourself. Ah. Harriet. Yeah, I think that state means you could just slice the limbs off. Um, let's just re put my health up. Right, that's where we're going. And there's always a little sneaky guy hiding here. Oh. Off you dead. Come on. Yeah, 
know, parrying is so much easier and it's, it does sort of, I don't know, it's just, yeah, I think more people just enjoy it because of that. Um, yeah, sometimes it's kind of difficult to know who's on your team and who's not. Right, I just got to go in there. This is very easy though, it's not... Right. Who's next? Oh, did I just drop that grenade? On the fly? Because that's one of the other new features. You can, on the fly, drop your grenades down. Um, yes, it does feel noticeably different to what it was before. What do you say? Mumble, mumble. You've got to kill the enemies first. I think he said that's not the way to go through here, Stone. Um, which way do we come in? I think it probably is the way, because I remember it being by this bit here. Oh, right, because there's a guy hiding behind the counter. Shoot him then! Shoot him! That's what the range weapon's for! See, that just shot his head off. Right. I think we're, we're getting close. Once you've gone through here, outside this last bit, then you get to the boss in that next area there. That's nice. That's very pretty. Um, yeah. I'm, wow, I should really access my skill tree. Look, 1,905 points. I'm just ignoring the skills. So, armor includes and reduced damage. Yep, that's useful. That was 800 points. Gosh. Um, what else have we got here? Um, charge attack is nice. Yep. And what else have we got here? Extra attack to the standard combo. That's cool, but I've only got 305 now. That's a grenade. To cloak. Right, that's to unlock the grenade. It's an unlock skill. But look, limb shooter. That's very nice. Um, what was that one with the skull here? That's uh, oh, that's Cortez. Get your partner to grab the enemy. Right. So now we've got grenades. Um, right. Chainsaw. So you can actually come back and use this against the later enemies. Um, they get pretty tough. So you can just use your standard weapon first and then run back and collect it for the ones that come later because this has only got a limited amount of uh, fuel to keep it running um, and they do get pretty tough these are just here to waste your um, fuel come here come here I mean this is very jack look at them all waiting to be sliced up yes 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 whatever um, whatever. Swing it. That's it. Look, I'm not taking any damage whatsoever. What were you thinking? What, you can't just run at me with that? Are you some kind of ninja? Oh, he's going to kill me anyway. Oh, ran out of fuel. You bitch. Right, charge attack. Ah! Whoa. Oh, no. How embarrassing. I spoke too soon. Anyway, I haven't died fully yet. Right, parried him easily. Right, charge attack. Oh, yeah, they do love to gang up on you like that. Come on. Just impacts full. Nice, good job. It's when you're able to start chaining your attacks together. That's when it becomes more interesting. So what you do, you stagger. Um, right, here we go. Ninja City. Right, here they come. Right, now, so what you would do is you'd run back and collect the chainsaw. And you can one-hit kill these ninjas. Kind of nice. But it makes you use that up first. So look, this is not even a boss character. He's just a standard character now. 
but parrying him, he's going to die pretty quick. Oh. Oh, oh, he knocked me out. Oh, my gosh. Game over. Oh, my gosh. Game over. I knew I was going to die at some point. Yeah, and who did I get killed by? The fucking ninja. So, look, now I'm just all again. Um, do I really want to go to the boss fight? Um, gosh. I mean, it's literally in that next room. Let's not go with the chainsaw. Um... Let's just take these out normally. Come on then. Come on. Come on, you bastard. Stop messing about. Oh, I've had a lot of health taken off there. That's it. He should be dead. So basically, you can just hold the block button now and um, it will parry. I don't know why this guy is not dying. He's dead. Yep. So it parried him. Shabby. Yep. We've got a lot of space here to move around. You can take your time with these guys. I'm going to die again. I'm not careful. Use my health. He's almost dead. Oh, you little bitch! Um, yeah, unblockable attacks. When they glow red, do not attack. Dodge out the way. That's it. Is he dead? He's finished. No. So look, let's see how from the beginning of the game, right? Three... Oh, no! Oh, dear. From the beginning of the game, it took three hits, slices to just slice them up. But now... Look at these enemy. Oh, fuck. I'm not doing too well here. Oh, he's killed me. All right, fuck this shit. Um, anyway, yes. Go back to the title screen. Um, yeah. Anyway, Wanted Dead. Gosh. Um, yeah, training's pretty cool. Um, so do I recommend playing it now compared to before? I mean, it's still the same game, essentially. Um slightly easier obviously i just died like twice um through not concentrating and being a bit gung-ho about it and not being so tactical about things but um yeah i still think it's worth it but not at the full price they was asking when it originally released i think you can get 50 percent off now um yeah fun game to play to while away a few hours here and there um it's quite a longish campaign as you can see i think about 15 hours to complete this game. I can't remember exactly. Um, but it's very goofy. And the cutscenes are actually quite cool. The story's a bit silly. And the acting, that was one thing that people picked up on. The voice acting wasn't that great. Um, but it was a sort of sort of deadpan acting. Um, kind, of all, kind of almost feels like it's deliberate. Um, and it's a goofy game, generally. Um, so yeah, I still stand by my original review score of it, and um, I think they uh, have made it more accessible, but they got a, a hard struggle to get people interested in this. Um, it's just, yeah. So anyway, yeah, so enjoy watching the video, and um, leave your comments, and um, try it. I think this is a sort of game that would really, really, really benefit well from having a demo um, for people to try it. Like, not at that first level. That first level is just too long-winded. Um, give give the player, like, some skills, quite a few skills later from late game, 
and throw them in somewhere at one of the later levels and um, let them have fun and just to see how it sort of improves as you unlock stuff and then um, let them run riot for an hour in that sort of level there later on and um, I think uh, it would entice quite a few people but anyway I'm waffling now this is Wanted Dead um, it's just been updated today I think and um, yeah go and check it out obviously you can treat it like, like a demo on Steam by playing it for under two hours and refund your money if you're not quite happy with it um, but I think you'd be doing the game a disservice if you did that because it does improve a lot as you work your way through it anyway I'm Rob Crown thanks for watching this is Wanted Dead